Et donc, madame et Stéphane Labrie, and today we are looking at uh, Autodesk Flame at the Dell booth at IBC. So we're going to have a look at Flame running on the latest and greatest uh, Threadripper Pro workstation from Dell. And uh, I'm going to show you a great feature which is related to machine learning. As we know, a lot of people these days are talking about this technology, how it can help post-production. And in Flame, we have great ways, in fact, to use it. So here we have a sequence that contains some shots. And what I want to do is I want to use my image, in fact, effect, which is our next generation color grading environment, which is able to, uh, well, let you apply color correction, do isolation. And in this scenario, what I would like to do is to isolate the sky. And this, is, this, this, this uh, process is quite tedious because as you can see, the shot is moving. So I would need to do either a key or ask a shapes and do tracking, that can be time consuming, especially in the context where my producer might change his mind uh, about uh, this take. Maybe I want to take another shot and then that means I need to redo the work. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a selective, what is a secondary on which I can add notable capabilities as, as, a, as I said, isolating. And we're going to use the semantic tier technology we have developed to be able to isolate content. Uh, and I'm going to show you, in fact, very quickly in the interface, how we can isolate a sky. So I just press the button. And as I just tell Flame, I just told Flame, well, find the sky in the image. Well, Flame use machine learning technology using the tensor core flow, uh, uh, the, the tensor flow core on the graphic cards from uh, NVIDIA. And then, as you can see, the sky has been isolated. So I don't have to do very manual work to isolate every pieces and do tracking while everything is there. So after that, I can easily go to my color environment, use my master grade to probably, you know, increase the color of the sky just like that and give it a look. And I'm going to save my setup in my bin here. And then when I'm navigating to another shot that is probably the same shooting environment, I can then easily drag and drop this environment. And as you can see, as a blink, I mean, it automatically isolated the sky. This content has been, has been shot with a high quality camera, right? And people say, well, it's easy because you get a good director of photography, you created great content, so then we can isolate that in your product. Well, I'm going to show you something else. Before leaving for Amsterdam, uh, I went to the mall. I used my phone to do the similar kind of shot. So here, as you can see, we have a parking lot with the sky and with some clouds here and even, you know, a plane in the sky. So again, I'm going to go to my machine learning tool. I'm going to drag and drop the same isolation and boom. As you can see, the sky has been isolated. We can see the trees. We can see the cars being um, affected. And we can even see the plane in the sky being affected. So if I had the need to do that without machine learning tool, well, my visual effect artist would have to roto work, do the tracking, and then perform the modification. And like I said at the beginning, well, my producer might change his mind. He might tweak the editorial or worse, take another shot. And, and, but that's fine because in, in Flame we have the tool so I can easily drag and drop my, my effects on the other shot. And then boom, isolation has been done. So machine learning brings that kind of capability in our product. And that was, in fact, the first capability we wanted to bring is how can we isolate. But we haven't stopped there. I'll show you another example. So I have a sequence here, which contains a blue screen, a model shot on blue screen. And I want to be able to use machine learning to isolate uh, either her head or part of, the, of her face. So we can do that when we do what we call beauty work. Sometimes we have to you know, fix skins issues or put some lighting, relighting faces. So we can still do that with the machine learning capabilities. So again, I go into my image environment. But now, instead of using a sky isolation on my selective, I'm going to use, as you can see in the interface, my semantic here, I'm going to use human face. And as you can see here, we have the face of the model. And if I were to browse, in fact, this clip, I don't have to do tracking. I don't have to do masking frame by frame. The machine learning technology understands that this 2D image is, in fact, a face. And the training of the machine learning we've done make it that very easy for Flame and the artist running Flame to do the work like this. So then again, I can easily go in my color corrector tool and then add some color to her face or modify either another part of the, of the face. Here we have the skin, but nothing prevents me to, let's say, use uh, isolate the nose. As you can see, the, 
isolation is quite precise here, and only the nose, in fact, is uh, affected by this isolation. So all in all, machine learning in post-production, I think, has a good place. Artists can benefit from uh, this technology and then add that as another weapon to their post-production tool sets.